this walkthrough will teach you to insert a review widget in iBooks Author, as well as how to modify the various question types. To do this, you will first need an up-to-date copy of iBooks Author, which can be downloaded for free from Apple's website. You will also need an Alliant operating system. First, open iBooks Author. Now go to the page you want to put the review widget and click the widget icon on the toolbar. Select review and position the widget where you want it on the page. You can resize it if you'd like, but it is best to leave it large so it will be easier to interact with on an iPad. You're going to want to make sure your inspector bar for the widget is always up, because that is how you add new questions. If you lose it for some reason, just click on the review widget and then the blue inspector button on the right in the toolbar, and it will come back. Click the plus button to select which question you would like, and iBooks automatically adds it and numbers it. There are six kinds of questions you can add with this widget. Multiple choice, multiple choice with a picture to the side, multiple choice with a picture on top, multiple choice with four pictures, drag thumbnail to target, and drag, drag label to target. You can add a name for your quiz where it says Review 1.1. To add your first question, just click in the area above the answer choices and type your question. Then come down here to add your answers where it says answer 1, answer 2, and so on. Click the circle next to the correct answer. This tells iBooks what the right answer is. You can add up to six multiple choice options by clicking in the number of answers box in the inspector panel here and selecting the number of answers you want. If you are using a multiple choice question with a picture, it is easy to add a picture. Just drag it over from your desktop and place it in the picture area. You can resize the image by double clicking it. You can also move it around to make sure it displays exactly what you want. Now, let's add a question where the images are answers. It's the same thing as with the last question. Just drag the image from your desktop, write the question, and select the proper image that answers the question. Now, to add a question where the user has to drag and drop labels on a picture, first add a picture, resize it by double clicking on the image and moving it where you want it. Now move the labels where they are supposed to go and type in what they are supposed to label. Today? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, four kids working before the class, so I just kept chatting on this channel. Um, oh, I just did that. Finally, if you want to add a question where the user drags the thumbnail image onto a target, first drag in your background image, mm -hmm. 
Then add the image, images for your thumbnails by dragging and dropping them into the thumbnail boxes in the widget. You can double click on the images in the thumbnails if you want to change their sizes as well.